Hey everybody, Zach again at NewTutorial.com coming in making a video for you today. Um, so if you haven't heard, the rapture is going to take place on September 23rd, 2017. I mean, I just thrown it out there. If you haven't heard yet, get ready because the rapture happens September 23rd, 2017. I'm getting email after email after email uh, asking my opinion. I don't know. Why do you want to know? I mean, seriously, I just... I, <laughs> We have to ask Zach Bauer, see what he says. Um, uh, I don't know. There's people out there. I've watched, So I started getting these emails about, I don't know, three or four months ago. And, you know, they're just asking me, hey, what do you think about September 23rd? There's a lot of people out there speculating on what's going to happen because there's all Hebrew Roots community, Torah observant community, Christianity. There's all kinds of Christian ministries out there saying the same thing, that September 23rd, something big is about to happen because all these things line up. I've heard this before, okay? Um, I'm not saying that one of these days, somebody's not going to pick the right date and we're all going to see something amazing, you know, because that's just, it's going to happen, okay? You can look in our Bibles and we know this is going to happen at some point. Um, I don't believe in a rapture. I think if you believe in a rapture, you've got some issues. Um, there's, there's way more in your scriptures that talk about a greater exodus. The second time that the Father regathers his people... Isaiah 11, 11, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time, second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathos, from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. Okay, so when was the first time? It was Egypt. The remnant of his people. The second time. Jeremiah 16, 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, says the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord lives that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. No, but the Lord lives that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from the lands of where he has driven them, and I will bring them again, into the, again, 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 into the land that which I gave unto their fathers. I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg, folks. I can keep going for hours. And if you haven't seen it yet, you can go see my video series, The Greater Exodus. It's on my website, newtutorial.com. And it goes through a lot of these verses over and over and over and over and over again. Major prophets, minor prophets, Moses himself, and yes, our Messiah the himself talked about The Greater Exodus. Luke 13, 29, And they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south and shall sit down in the kingdom of God. And behold, there are last which shall be first and there are first which shall be last. Um, yeah, they're all talking about the greater exodus, folks. I mean, <laughs> it's just... Um, but, you know, there's some people out there who still believe in the rapture. That's their hope. And when it doesn't happen, they're going to be really disappointed. And a lot of these folks are really putting their hope in September 23rd, 2017. That's coming up in just a few months. Um, here's the deal. Uh, they got guys on the Messianic side, Hebrew root side, Torah observant side, whatever. They're saying that... This is the beginning of the tribulation. You have the people on the Christian side, they're saying this could be the rapture. Not all of them are saying it. Some of them are saying it could be. And they're all waiting and seeing. And uh, there's a lot of naysayers out there too. Count me as, as one of the skeptical. Not really a naysayer, but skeptical. Um, the reason is I've you know played this game before. And you know I've, I've gotten excited before. Because there are a lot of times where people have shown me things that seem to line up. It's like, there is no way this is not it. This is it. And it's not it. So, I mean, it doesn't matter how what you show me that lines up. Um, I'm going to keep watch. I'm going to pay attention. I'm going to be ready. I'm going to have oil in my lamp, but um, I'm not getting excited yet. You know, I'll, I'll get excited when I see it happening, okay? Um, and, and I'll remain watchful, for sure. Um, here's the biggest red flag that I see in either Christianity or Torah observancy, whatever. Okay, when these people start coming to you and they're saying, this is it, this is good, you know, we have a really strong possibility of such and such, they're always trying to sell you something. You know, I have seen these ministries, I'm not kidding you, you know, big, long, white beards, and their, their newsletters, their ministry newsletters, their publications have turned into purchase catalogs, where you can buy the latest book on this or the latest DVD set, DVD set on that. And, you know, let me tell you about the coming greater exodus. Let me tell you about the rapture. And, oh, by the way, buy my six-disc DVD set, and it'll explain it all to you. Only $29.95. Or buy this such-and-such such because, you know, with whatever donation possible, and it'll explain to you what everything you want to know. They're just, 
I mean, they've, they've made themselves into whores. I know that's strong language. I know, I know. And this is why I, I have a lot of people who don't invite me to the conferences, you know, that they're, that they're having to put together because I've offended some of them. But I, when I see these guys pushing this stuff, September 23rd, September 23rd, and the first half hour of their program is about selling you something, and the last half hour of their program is about selling you something, and all of their, on all of their materials, publications, you see their face, nothing but their face, because it's all about them. I have big red flags, and I'm skeptical. I see a lot of these ministries, young guys, old guys, you know, and they're hoarding themselves. They're, they're basically selling the word. And it, it kind of makes me want to throw up in my mouth a little bit. So, um, and when they start to tell you something that's going to happen or that even could happen, um, you know, and some of them aren't saying it's going to happen. Some of them are saying, hey, let's just pay attention. But they're trying to sell you something. I rule it out because here's the deal. When the creator of the universe comes back to reveal his majesty, he's not going to allow someone who's been whoring the word of God to take credit for it. Okay? Make sense? He's not going to come back so that someone who's been making $29.95 on a six-disc DVD set is going to be able to say, Woohoo! I was right! Look how great I am! Go back and read the story of Gideon once again. I'll leave it there. All right. September 23rd, 2017. It doesn't line up with any of the feast days. Okay. It doesn't line up with trumpets. It's just going to be another day. I'm watchful. But there you go. Go home. Read your Bible. Thanks.